So in this video, we're going to look at radical, rat, radical, radical, uh, radical, radical, radical conjugates. Oh my goodness! Um, it's really actually very, very simple. Uh, so let's take a look at this problem. Um, and it says to write in simplest form. I disagree that it could simplest form. That's that's an argument. But um, use the radical. I can't say that word. Radical. Conjugate, radical conjugate. So, what is a radical conjugate? Well, if I have this part, this is just some uh, some number there uh, with a radical. The radical conjugate is the same exact thing, except for I change the sign in the middle. That's it. I just change it. Uh, if it's positive, I change it to negative. If it's negative, I change it to positive. And here's what happens when you use the radical conjugate. Um, I'm going to multiply, just like I did in the other problems, I'll multiply the top and bottom by the same thing. Just notice, I change the sign in the middle. That's using the conjugate. That's I can just say the conjugate. Then <laughs> I don't have to have say, say Radagascar. Madagascar? Rad Radagast? From Harry Potter? Anyway, so I'm going to multiply, and I'm going to have to foil. But I'm going to do this once, and then the rest of the time I'm just going to skip steps. But look at this. 5 times 5, that's, uh, that's 25, of course. And then 5 times negative square root of 3. Negative 5 times the square root of 3. It's just, you just, you just do that. 5 times the square root of 3 is 5 times the square root of 3. I can't do 15, like underneath the square root, because the 5 is not under the square root. So there you go. And then the square root of 3 times 5, that's just positive 5 times the square root of 3. Right? This times that, that's what it is. Same exact reasoning. And then square root of 3 times negative square root of 3, well, that's negative square root of 3 squared, isn't it? Isn't it? So that means, what do I have? I have 25 this and this cancel out because they're exactly the same except they have opposite signs and this and that cancel out so I just have minus 3 well that's great 25 minus 3 that's 22 22 and in the top well 1 times that is just that and so all I have is 5 minus square root of 3 over 22 shall I do another example I think so I'm going to do, uh, oh, so here's, here's what happens. When you multiply by a conjugate, the, the middle terms are always going to cancel out. And I'll show you, I guess, one more time on the next example, um, but it, it'll, it'll always con uh, cancel out, the middle term. So you'll be left with this times this and this times that. So it'll, it'll always cancel out. So what about this one? Uh, it says write in simplest form, and I'm just going to say use the radical conjugate to rationalize the denominator. That's rationalizing the denominator means get it so you don't have the square root under there in the, in the denominator. Make it so it's in the numerator only. So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply by the conjugate, the radical, the conjugate, and we have the square root of 7 plus 2. Remember, it's not the conjugate unless we change that sign. So there we go, and we have the square root of 7 plus 2. We leave this and this exactly the same. That way we're multiplying by 1, because the same thing divided by itself is 1. So we do that. In the top, easy. We just leave the square root of 7 plus 2. That's very nice. And then this times this, I'm going to do this in red over here. Well, that's the square root of 7 squared, so that goes away. This times this is uh, positive 2 root 7. And I'll show you again. This times this. They go away. The middle terms go away. Minus 2 root 7. And then negative times a positive. That would be a negative 4. So that goes away. This just becomes 7 minus 4. That's 3, I do believe. And now we have no more radical in the denominator. This is actually a good trick when you get to limits in calculus. Um, so remember it.